Hi, my name's Rick Owen. Uh, I currently work for the CFA as an Operation Officer in uh, State Training. But today I'm here representing the Fire Smoke Coalition and we're about to do some test burns after our theory session this morning. So we're going to uh, use some detectors and burn some different household products and just see what the byproducts of combustion are. So Jason's got a range of just household products, things that we get in a building. So there's some PVC pipe, carpet and foam headrest or foam cushion like would be on a sofa. And he's not actually going to burn them, we're just going to apply heat to them so that they start off-gassing or vaporising and produce some products of combustion. So we won't see large amount of flame or smoke, but it'll demonstrate with the use of each of the detectors, which everyone has, just how dangerous the off-products are. We've also got it set up in front of us as the air array on the tripod, which is a remote one, and he's got a yellow one next to him. And that actually data logs and sends wirelessly back to a computer in there. So everybody inside can be watching the results of what's going on now. Now, ideally for us, if we're using those that are hazmat, we can get about three kilometres away and we can still get our information back to the incident control centre. What they learned today was more the dangers of smoke and it's not the flame that gets us, it's the products of combustion either entering our skin or we're inhaling it or even the worst practice of you know, not washing our hands and we're putting our hands in our mouth while we're eating, so we're ingesting stuff. So it's probably about hygiene and just the, off, the products of combustion which really are nasty to us. The importance of BA, not just realising that BA is for internal, they realise that it's external, it's good hygiene practice for just being out in the smoke, hopefully reinforce that we should be laundering our equipment or our PPC as the instruction says and it basically says one wear one wash so we just got to start thinking about ourselves because it's not the it won't knock us off today it's going to get us in 20 years the lower the temperature the smoke isn't as buoyant and it hangs around and so we actually like a pot on the stove is probably the worst fire we go to for effective byproducts if it's a really hot fire and it's vented and it's burst out through the roof, it, most of it goes away. But when it's caught inside a kitchen and old Nana or Mum's in there being just like oh, it's only a pot on the stove, we get very high levels of hydrogen cyanide, which isn't a good thing. Um, so low temperature fires and low intensity, like a smouldering fire, is worse for us. The two which are the nasty one we work together, we talk a lot about carbon monoxide and, and hydrogen cyanide, but then you can go through, through things like acrolein, ammonia, phosgene, the isocyanates. You know, there's thousands of chemicals and we can never replicate, we never really monitor them that well because it's very hard to replicate the same fire because we, you know, air entrainment changes, fuel changes. We just can't make the same fire and that's what's made it hard for research to, for us to do a lot of research because we can't get that repeatable fires. Yeah. My duty of care is to the occupant and the, the community first. So when I hand it back, I want to make sure it is safe and I've looked after them. Because otherwise we can put the fire out and then fail public and say, give them, put them into it. Yeah, it looks clean. Our eyes don't, aren't a good indicator of how clean it is, but we could have nasty gases still floating around. So the, for me there's probably two things we need to think about. We need to think about making sure before we take our BA off we've made a, an informed decision using some sort of detection equipment and do that in fresh air, take it off in fresh air. And then think about our hygiene. Now our hygiene should be two parts. One should be washing our equipment and one should be washing ourselves. So, and that would involve, first up for me would be a wash around the neck and where our interface of our BA and flash hood is and our hands because our hands are actually five times dirty than our neck because we've been working and then once I get so I do some sort of cleaning regime on scene and then as soon as I get home or I get a shower a full shower to wash the particulates off um, so we get rid of the absorption risk so we're very good at looking after our equipment as because fire is a generally quite clean people but we just need to start focusing on ourselves that we're clean so for in 20 years we haven't had a chronic long-term exposure and uh, we're not injured. So we've just concluded the Fire Smoke Symposium for 2018. So we've had two days of uh, theory and prac training and we've had approximately 200 people through it. Now that's just not CFA people, we've had AV, police, uh, MFB, Aviation Fire and Rescue, WorkSafe, uh, EPA, so they've all learnt about dangers of fire smoke and some of the products of combustion. Hopefully now we've started uh, the ball rolling and they can be the catalyst and go back and change some culture within our organisation.